What's up, y'all? It's Captain Trent here. We're fixing to go out here and catch some bait. Hopefully, uh, catch. I, I've been doing pretty good at the bridge recently. The, the snappers and groupers have been coming up to the surface eating live baits, so that's been pretty cool. We're gonna go see if we can get on that today. I went last night and I got a tarpon and I got a bunch of groupers, so we'll see what it's like today. I got, I got Alex here, my trusty angler. We'll see how many fish he manages to lose today. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I'm putting my trolling motor in and uh, I'm gonna use it as my anchor up here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up ahead of, ahead of the bridge here so we can fish behind the boat into the current and uh, our weight will we'll be able to feel our bite because the weight will be behind the boat. So we're gonna be throwing some of these live baits trying to get those fish fired up behind the boat. So like I said, we got set up up here in front of the current. That way when we're casting our weights, the, the, the water is going to be pulling our baits that way so you can kind of feel everything that's going on with, with your bait, you know? Cast this way, you're not going to be able to feel none of your bites or nothing like that because it'll be your bait will constantly be coming back towards you. Let me demonstrate how this is done, Alex, and then I'll let you take it over, okay, boss? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook your bait on there for you. I just want you to kind of cast it over here to this uh, little piling. I got a little uh, spot in this area. A little ledge we got. Let it go all the way down to the bottom. Hold it on my trigger tip for a second. We're gonna get another rig tied up while he's holding on to that one, okay? We got Rob, folks. that I was managed to pull out a bigger mangrove than Alex was. Oh, and he's tight back there. And is he going to be able to get him out? The question. It's a monster mangrove snapper. Seems like I'm hooked up to a nice mangrove here. Could be a group or two. I'm not sure, but it's kind of pulling like a mangrove. Hopefully it is a mangrove. Ah, oh, it's a grouper. Alrighty, first one of the day. Hopefully more, more of those to come. See if Captain Trent lets the whole crew down or not. Can he feed the family? Let's see, is it a Jack Crevelli or is it a nice mangrove snapper, baby? A Jack Crevelli. Nice for mango, that's a keeper right there. Now, do you see how I'm hooking mainly the bigger ones? That's how you're gonna wanna continue to do that. And that's another nice keeper for Alex to take home with him for dinner. We're, uh, we're gonna make a move to this area that I know there, there's been a couple juvenile tarpon hanging around, so we're gonna see if we can get after some of those for a little bit while we're waiting on this current to kinda calm down. Alright guys, so we came here to this little mangrove island here. Uh, sometimes there will be some little juvenile tarpon or some snooks swimming around here. That's kind of what I'm hoping for today. Uh, we'll see if we can get a bite and then we might even go to one more spot after this. We'll see. We'll see what the day makes. Oh my god. Got a fish back there, but he got me in the trees. Let's see if I can get him out. 
see if he wants to swim out on his own for a second. Stickfish. The mighty stickfish. Oh, he got me in the tree. I got my hook out, but I didn't get the fish out. You know, out of the water. at this corner here it's been a pretty hot bite right on that corner one after another unfortunately we were having to pick through them a little bit but that's a nice keeper there hey, uh, we got a couple oh, more yeah we have that pinfish still we're recording alex <laughs> oh, my bad it's my first day we're getting out of this uh one spot here is this corner the, it was a mangrove island we kind of checked out unfortunately today there wasn't too many fish out of it but sometimes it can be really really loaded up with snook or tarpon you know I, t I come to find they like it when it's a little muddier a little bit of a little bit more wind i would like but you know sometimes you don't you don't have everything you like you know so we're gonna go back to uh the bridge and check out the current a little bit earlier the current wasn't really quite going the way i wanted it to so we're just gonna go give it a quick look and see if we can maybe uh pull something big out of there real quick Big barracuda on. Oh, he just dropped it. Oh, he just picked it back up. Oh, he dropped it again. You, sir, no longer have a hook. Nope, broke me off. That's what this is all about, the excitement. All right, the one that got away. Let's see if we can get another chance at him. Look at that line. Toast. All right, y'all, so we're getting back to the dock. Uh, we got a couple mangrove snappers we're gonna clean up. Uh, it's a little bit a little bit on the slower end on the bigger side of fish today. Sometimes that's how it is, you know. Sometimes we can be, we can be happy to get dinner, especially on a half day, you know. Uh, but I think we're gonna go out again tomorrow and see what we can get, a, get after again tomorrow. Yeah, so we're just getting these fish cut up so Alex can take these home for dinner with him. Nice little bag of fish for Alex to go ahead and take home with him. All right, y'all, that was a blast out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, Leave us a like and subscribe, and we really would appreciate that. Thank you so much. What's up, guys? Captain Rick Stanzik here. I'm here with Jason from SCB Boats, Shallow Sports. We got the 22, S22 here. This is a shallow water bay boat. It's like a cat haul, kind of a bit of, bit of a race boat, uh, but we're gonna check it out and see what it can do. Uh, why don't you tell me about a few of the selling points about this baby here, Jason? So this is got a racing style catamaran haul. Uh, it's got a center pod that compresses the air, creates a lot of lift. The faster you go, the more lift it gets and the smoother it'll ride. If there's bigger waves and the boat were to launch, it kind of lands softer than you're expecting. It also has a system where it, it scoops air and rams it down under the boat and there's a tunnel for air that reduces contact between the boat and the water, makes it ride faster, more fuel efficient. Uh, it's also a very efficient boat, even at high speeds, uh, surprisingly fuel efficient. So, and it'll, it'll keep itself pretty level no matter what direction the chop is coming from. It's just kind of real impressive how soft it lands if you're if you're in bigger stuff cool yeah sounds a lot different than uh stuff that we're used to so let's go take a ride see what you can do i had it on there for a while and the guy running it just didn't like it um i'll trim up when i'm in a marina or i'm in and out of reverse so that the prop walk, the thrust of the prop goes under the boat instead of into the tongue and then you get a lot more control Gotcha. So yeah. wide open throttle, we're often getting between 2.5 and 3 miles per gallon. Oh, like wow. full speed, wide open. Jeez. And that ain't bad. You don't have to feel guilty, we you know, with those kind of uh -huh. those kind of numbers. No, yeah. that's that's wild. <laughs> and I'm sure you can, you know, run over uh, pretty shallow water too with the tunnel and air and everything going under there. Yeah, so yeah. this one runs in about 8 inches. Uh, which is still pretty shallow by most standards. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. make other boats that'll run shallower, but they're not going to be as fast or as efficient. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of our most efficient boats that we make. Gotcha. At a cruising speed, if you cruise around 30-ish, uh, we're often over five miles per gallon between five and six. Wow. If 
you want to cruise in the 40s, you're still four miles per gallon. Yeah. That well, ain't bad, you know? No, 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 no. And at all. if you're running charters and you're on the water every day, fuel efficiency matters. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Depending on the prop, she'll get on plane, I'll say between 14 and 16 inches. If you prop it more for high end speed, you're going to need a little bit more to get it on plane. Mm -hmm. If you prop it for weight, It'll jump up on plane shallower and faster. Yeah. So, so when we turn around and we do this same run, same conditions, but into the wind, it gets more air, more compression, runs faster and smoother. Really? Wow. With the extra wind underneath, even though you're <laughs> running into the head sea and into the winds. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, I've not been on a boat uh, like that, like this before. That's cool. <laughs> How fast were you? Uh, Wait, that was 68. 68? <laughs> faster than I want to go most of the time. I think Nick was mentioning that one too, yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely like to check, check that out. I think that's too. our most underrated boat that we build because not, there's not a lot of them out there, so not a lot of people know about them, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. very, very versatile boat. It does have a little higher sides. You know, it can, you can take them offshore if you want. It's got enough of a V to do that. Yeah. And they're still very shallow. And, and like what we do in so many ways, there's some really cool innovations in that boat that separate it from other bay boats, mm -hmm. like that tunnel tab. Yeah. So there's the shock absorber. Yeah, when we were hitting the 60s out there, you know, in that chop, I bounced probably <laughs> two or three feet into the air. But uh, didn't hurt when I landed in that thing. <laughs> All right, well, we made it back to the dock. Nobody went swimming. That was a pretty cool ride. Yeah, the boat is fun. Um, yeah, nobody even got wet. It was windy and choppy out there. No, we were uh, we were dry. You know, that was definitely an amazing uh, an amazing selling point on that boat. <laughs> We were running high 60s, right around 68 a couple of times uh, through the chop. How, what, what size was that chop? Uh, we we're definitely running through some probably like close to three footers there, I would say, two to three footers. If you if you got to deal with those conditions, it's a way you can still run fast and do that. Yeah, I was totally amazed. I mean, yeah, it definitely rides totally different than anything I've been on. And uh, yeah, kind of like the faster you were going, the more comfortable it was. You weren't bouncing, you definitely got up out of the water and on top of the waves and kind of felt like you were had control too, which was nice, you know? Um, so yeah, definitely something different and pretty cool. Thanks for taking me for a ride. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe.